everything for this segment because today I am in Pondicherry and I have with me Ashna who is one of the managers at the restaurant and she's going to be telling us a little bit about this Indian restaurant. What is the mission or the purpose of Pondicherry as a plant-based restaurant? Yeah, so we, um, we're actually a family-run Indian restaurant and we do serve meat but every Monday we are fully plant-based and we've actually changed our menu format so that everything is vegetarian unless noted that it has meat which means that we've totally turned a whole new leaf where we recognize as being a restaurant it's very important for us to also be eco-conscious and Indian food has so many ways of eating vegetarian eating plant-based that people don't really even know they're missing the meat. Exactly. Our whole staff has changed their way they eat. We have people coming in here saying that they never knew vegetables could be so tasty. Exactly, and I think one of the biggest things is um, making people aware or yes. helping them to incorporate more fruits and vegetables into their diet, not necessarily turning vegan, right? Yeah. But also incorporating more whole food, uh, nutritious exactly. Um, benefits. Exactly. Yeah, right? and we are very careful about where we source our meat from. If we run out one day, it's because we ran out. You know, we're very, very big on that. Our eggs come from a farm too. But other things we've been doing, just because sometimes it's really hard to take away how people eat. It's very hard to take away their full meat. They're not going to be very happy. So we've started doing, we have a lamb burger on the menu and our lamb burger is actually made up of 50% vegetables. Okay. So just even little things like that, um, on Monday, when we're all plant-based, we have a huge amount of baked goods that have no eggs, no butter, and people are shocked. They can even eat a cake that doesn't have that. So anytime, whether it's small or big, we're doing our best to put more vegetables in it. That's very interesting. Yeah. I love Indian food because of all the spices and the variety. Um, what are some of the most popular dishes that people come here for? Yeah, okay, I would say um, our green dosa. Um, which is served downstairs at our main restaurant. It's a savory rice lentil crepe that also happens to be fermented and it's gluten free. Um, but you don't really even know that while you're tasting it because it just tastes like something so delicious and luscious. It has a pumpkin seed chutney underneath it, uh, sauteed greens and avocado, and it comes with a soup and a potato cake. And we have people come maybe three or four times a week and they just eat that. That one dish. That one okay. dish. And, and they love it. It sounds so good. I think I might get that one today. Oh, so. I love that one. Yeah. That one is one of our top, top sellers. Um, we also have, I would say our butter chicken is a high seller, but our green dosa is coming up there, which makes me really excited. Yeah. Um, I'd say another huge seller for us is our avial. It's a coconut ginger stew um, with any seasonal vegetables we get. We have a lot of farms that call us and say, hey, we have 10 pounds of fennel, can you take it? I'm like, sure, we'll take it. That's amazing. Yeah. That they have those sources and those contacts. Yeah, here. because, exactly, because what are we, if we're not there for them, then their crop goes bad, then they can't sustain to stay alive, so we'll just take it. Sometimes we take like, one time we took 100 pounds of peppers. 100 pounds, pounds of peppers. peppers. Yeah. Like peppers no, it was like, like habanero peppers, other type of peppers. This one <laughs> farmer went pepper crazy, and we had pepper jam, pepper pizza, <laughs> pepper curry, pepper cheesecake, and we did everything. So, um, we have a lot of favorite dishes. But if you are going to try anything, I'll definitely try that green dosa. The green dosa. I'm going to definitely try yeah. that one. <laughs> Um, and lastly, to end the interview, I always like I always like to ask, um, yeah. what is one fun fact that maybe customers may not know of about the restaurant? Well, a lot of people don't know it's family run. That's for sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that, that yeah, they think it's a big corporation. It's just a few of us in the back, like running around <laughs> doing everything that we can. Um, I think they also don't know that Anita, the chef, who's my mother, she is hands on in the kitchen every day. So this is a very, this restaurant is a very small run baby um, and while social media and all that can make it look like it's some big presence, it's actually just family run. I think that's the most important um, about us. Yeah. Well that's really interesting. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time. Of course, uh, thank you. do this interview, yeah. right? Um, and we're helping out the Rio Grande Valley, which is, I don't know if you're aware of the Rio Grande Valley. Um, it's across the U.S.-Mexican border. Yes. And um, so all of these cities, it has the highest diabetes and um, uh, obesity rates, right? 
So we're lacking vegan restaurants or just plant-based restaurants altogether. Awareness. Yeah. Yes. Um, so that's why I'm doing this. It's called the Healthy Beats. Um, and I'm trying to bring awareness to the valley. Um, that's amazing. Thanks. That's such a great, great. When I got your email, I was like, this is amazing. Yeah. And thank you so much for responding. Um, yeah, of course. I know some people may not respond because you're so busy, right? Yeah, but you're doing something awesome. So yeah. we're here for you. Well, yeah. thank you so, so much. And I'm looking forward to try that green dose. Yes. So, yeah. Thank you so <laughs> thank much. Thank you. And then this is a lentil soup. So this is also like your protein in there. And I'm not sure what this is. It's like a fried ball, but it looks good. And this, oh, I think it's a potato, like a potato pancake, something like that, potato cake. So let's try it. I'm gonna try with, try with this one. It looks like it has turmeric because it's yellow. So let's see if it's how it tastes. Mm. I taste a little bit of ginger and some spices in there. It's very good. But let's try the lentil soup. I love that it has cilantro in there. I love that you can see the ingredients that you're actually eating. So let's try this. Mm. I love the freshness, all the spices. Um, um, the cilantro in there, it, everything combines so well. And I want to try this little puppy thing. I don't know what it is. Do you guys know what this is? Maybe. It's really good. It's kind of like a, a cornbread. That's the texture that I'm getting. Everything's very good. But now let's try this dosa right here. Cut into it. Let's make it into a taco. I don't know if you can see it, but all the spices in there. It's very spicy, but it goes very well with the crepe because the crepe is very subtle in flavor. Um, and it has a crispy texture. So I really like this with a combination of this and I feel that the salad in there combines very well with the spiciness of the cream in the bottom and then the subtle texture of the crepe. It's very very good. So I'm just going to continue enjoying my meal with my big cup of tea. I don't know. 